Hi. What's up everybody? My name is Michael Pittman. I'm Amanda. And today we're going to talk to you about money, 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 money. 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 We're going to talk to you guys about what worked for us, what didn't work for us when it came to um, managing finances in our marriage. One thing that didn't work for us is an all cash system. Now, it was very, very helpful. Don't get me wrong. We saved more money, we spent less money because we could physically see how much money we were spending. And it was extremely helpful, but it wasn't realistic. It's not something we could keep up with on a regular basis. We like the principle behind using a cash system and the self-discipline it takes, but when it comes to always having to take money out of an ATM, it just wasn't very convenient. Yeah, so if you are someone who wants to be really disciplined and you like the idea of the all cash system or the Dave Ramsey envelope system in which you're putting cash in one envelope for cash and another envelope for certain expenses, you may just do better getting a prepaid Visa card or a prepaid card from a store so that you can still have the discipline and know you can't go over, but you can have the convenience of having a card. The second thing that didn't work for us was not having a plan. A plan is so important, not only when it comes to your overall financial picture, but also when it comes to like a credit card. So I know that one time I was in an airport and the Southwest people were like, hey, have this credit card, you get 50,000 free miles. I was thinking, wow, I want to travel, I want miles, and we got the credit card, which was great at the time. And we got the travel miles. Too. And we got the points. That was really We fun. got plenty of points, really right? Fun. But the fact of the matter is, whenever we had that other credit card, it was through a different bank than we normally banked with. So checking the account, keeping up with it, keeping up with the expenses and everything was really just a hassle. So um, we didn't necessarily have a plan with it. We just wanted to spend the money and get the points. But that came back to bite us whenever it came time to pay those bills back. So not having a plan from a credit card standpoint and not having a financial plan overall from, you know, when do I want to retire and when can we pay off debt? That was really detrimental as well. So you want to make sure you have that. The final thing that really didn't work for us was having a savings account that was really accessible. A lot of times you may have like a checking account and a savings account through your bank and you can constantly transfer money from one to the other. This for us was really difficult. So what we do now is we try to save at other places. Maybe we save through an account at another bank or we save in like a money market account in which the funds are accessible if we need them. but. It's not kind of easy to get to. Not as easy to get to, like going to an ATM or something like that. That's really, really helpful for us um, to have a separate savings and to have our savings and investments auto debited out of our account. We know that on the 20th and on the 18th of every month, you know, Amanda's investments and my investments are getting debited out of our account a certain amount every month, and it's been like that. So whether times are high or low, we know that that's gonna remain consistent. When you get in a tough time, you wanna make sure that there's a system in place to be disciplined for you. That way you're not operating off of emotion. Should you merge your bank accounts? That is absolutely something that worked for us. Um, having a joint bank account just makes everything streamlined. I'm not worried about my finances versus his finances, it's all ours. I love that and because we're one flesh, it really, really brings everything in and unifies us. So I really like uh, the concept of what's mine is yours, what's yours is mine. And um, you know, we forget where the money came from, who made the money. But what works really well for us is having Michael as the financial guy in our household and have him keep me up to date with everything that's going on financially, but um, him more so making most of the financial decisions because we have a joint bank account and because it doesn't really make sense to have two heads, it works really well that he's the leader in that aspect and I follow. Not necessarily because he's the man, but because he's the financial mind. And so having a merged bank account and having one person who really takes responsibility for the finances absolutely worked for us. Initially, even though I was operating it on my own and I had the financial mind, there were even times in which I was like, man, I kind of want to spend a little bit more money on here or there and maybe not be as disciplined as I should be. But keeping Amanda in the loop and asking her about the purchases and the decisions that I make makes it really, really easy to be disciplined because she'll say, well, I think we can do this or I think we can do that. And you're a team at the end of the day. I absolutely agree. 
And the final thing that really helped is having a budget, having it mapped out, even from whether you get paid monthly, bi-weekly, or twice a month. Bi-weekly and twice a month are two different things. Getting paid on the 1st and the 15th, that's two paychecks a month, so you would get 24 paychecks in a year. But if you get paid bi-weekly, then you get paid even on the months where there are five weeks in the year. And so you may get paid on the first week, the third week, and the fifth week, same month, but three paychecks. So now you're getting 26 paychecks a year. So mapping out our budget and mapping out um, how to operate our money based upon this paycheck is happening on this day, this paycheck is happening on this day, has made it much easier for us to manage our finances as a family. All right, well, we hope that that helps. We hope that you guys have a plan with your finances and that it works absolutely smoothly for you. And if you have any questions, just shoot me an email, michaelpittman20 at yahoo.com. I love the help. Make sure to like our video, share, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you guys in our next video. See you. Bye.